Hello and welcome to Cinder Shadow Gaming. I'm your host, Cinder Shadow, and today we're going to talk about Marvel Comics, Captain America, and the Red Skull. Well, who doesn't know the story of Captain America now, especially with the Marvel Cinematic Universe? You have Red Skull being one of the most famous villains now of Captain America series, especially with the movies and the MCU. And he's been in comic books for a very long time with the Captain America series. But recently we've got some stuff going on with Marvel and them kind of enjoy injecting some unfair propaganda and politics into our comic books and it's really taken over the scene of the way comic books are being read and and the way thing we don't get to imagine people being heroes anymore they've got to be more than just a hero they got to be that person that stands up for the rights of uh um, marginalized groups and all this other thing where to the point that they that if you stand against any of that you will be demonized you will be prosecuted you will be cancelled and we have seen this over and over and over again your ideologies in the in the world uh as long if you don't hold any ideologies towards anything then you're going to be ousted as the bad guy you have to have the proper say and do whatever these people tend to want you to do why do i call this propaganda well Recently, there was some stuff that came out in a new Captain Marvel comic book for Captain America and the Red Skull. And it is very interesting. I want to show you guys a few uh, side scrolls or whatever you want to call them, still images from the book. So one of the stills from the book, it, it's showing that there is almost direct quotes from Jordan Peterson himself. And this is where things are kind of interesting. I haven't read any of Jordan Peterson's stuff. I, I know people that have. He, he made a self-help book called 12 Rules of Life. And part of that is to say, to tell people to clean up your own act before you act upon the world and all this other stuff. And, you know, it's a very physio philosophy sort of um as a professor of uh, university and college and all this other stuff, his words carried a lot more with the world. And he talks about things like controlled speech or provoke speech that we have here in Canada and how he's against it. And honestly, it's a very slippery slope when you're being told you can say certain things and you can't say certain things in a free society. And that is part of his message and why it has really resonated with a lot of people out in the world. They said, no one controls what I say. And if you do get offended to that, sometimes you just got to live with that. Sometimes if you get offended by what someone says, you just got to live with it. I've had to do it. I've had to step away and I've had to make choices and say, you know what? They did what they did. They're going to say what they're going to say. I can be the better man, I can step away from this, and I can just not deal with that ever again. And that's the way I've dealt with this kind of criticism in the past. And just overall, when you, when you sit there and go, this isn't the way to live. If you're going to worry about it, it's not that great. But from this still, it's, yeah, he did. It's the same for all of them looking young men weak looking for a purpose i found the flag you found the badge they found the skull they're talking about red skull here he tells them what he wants they've always longed to hear that they are secretly great that's the whole world is against them and that if they're truly men they'll fight back and bingo that's their purpose that's what they live for and that's what they die for so this is Captain America. They really have turned the tables of what Captain America really stands for. He's supposed to be honor, justice, 
and fighting the bad guy and really fighting the bad guy. And they're taking sort of this ideology from Jordan Peterson and injecting it into the book. And it's no longer fighting the bad guy. It's about spreading propaganda. When he stood there in the movie and trying to sell bonds so they can go to war, that was really at that time for the right thing. The idea of that, it's for freedoms, it's for a free and open world. And now this is going against that narrative. There's also a comic book series where Captain America actually is part of Hydra, and Hydra is based off World War II bad guys and all this other stuff. But this is just going that step too far. In another still image from it, you see this where it looks like Red Skull is supposed to be a YouTuber much like myself. Um, and he's got 10 rules to, for life. And Jordan Peterson has 12 rules for life. And he's like, order and chaos. Carl Luger's genius, which I believe is some take on a gun if I think, and in the feminist trap, and it's the Red Skull and all this other stuff. Now, like I said, I haven't really read much of Jordan Peterson. I follow a bit of what he does and just follow what attention that gets mocked up in the media. But now when we see Marvel really taking a step into him and really trying to peg him as the bad guy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not not the Cinematic Universe, but the Marvel Universe in particular. And starting to call him the Red Skull and the villain. And equating him to World War II bad guys is just really a step beyond what is sane in this world. Like, you're going to tell me someone that's a philosophy major is going to say things that you're going to get upset. I'm pretty sure Socrates and all the other philosophers of the past really did have things like that. Uh, if you look at Karl Marx and all this other stuff, he, he was a philosopher at first and really spread his ideology. And his ideology was something that people stood up against. And people are trying to kind of equate the same thing towards Jordan Peterson, trying to stand up against what he's standing for. But what he's standing for is a sense of family, a sense of well-being, a sense of being better for your own self. And if you're trying to better yourself, I can't help but to say that that's not a bad thing. If you're trying to move forward in the world and actually make your mark on the world and be better for yourself and not enlist in these ideologies that really get you tied up in a cult mentality then where is the bad stuff that he's really saying he puts out a self-help book that really is meant to make you think and so now putting him as the evil villain in the marvel universe you've got to ask yourself what is marvel doing why are they using this type of leverage to spread Pro the, the propaganda that Jordan e and Peterson is bad and evil and everything like that. Well, it, it's really unfortunate to see such a big corporation, especially with the hand of Disney being involved in this, really pushing these agendas into our comic books. Our comic books are not what they used to be. They used to be fun-loving. You, you, you used to pick up a Turner and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles comic book and look at it and go, Hey, cool, there's, there's Teenage Turtles eating pizza. It's pizza time. And now you've got to pick up a, uh, a, a um, Captain America book and really try and side with the Red Skull because the Red Skull is the embodiment of evil and because some philosopher came across and said... Listen, this is the, the, what I'm seeing in the world and it's wrong and he's trying to stand up for it and tell government officials and say, listen, you guys, what you're doing is not going to help promote the Canadian way of living or, the, or humanity in general. It's going to actually tear it down. And really, because he stood up, you've got to give the man a little bit of respect for that. And I think there's a little bit more behind that. Now... Since this is all taken, like, Jordan Peterson actually has kind of embraced the idea of this playing the villain. And he's really gone forward to play the villain and uh, really taken a shine to it. It's actually quite entertaining to watch. This poster here that you see I put up here, this actually was hand-drawn by Exvis. 
Uh, he is a he, he's done artwork for uh, Mike alongside of Mike Sass and all this other stuff that I do hold quite dearly because I've met the guy in real life and he's absolutely a great guy and artist. He's done Magic the Gathering. There's all this other stuff, but he's an amazing artist and this type of thing, Hail Lobster, this is where Jordan Peterson has really taken this. He's and Jordan Peterson has taken the idea of a Hydra and Red Skull and really started to roll with it and making a meme and mockery of it. It's like, if you're going to turn around and make me the bad guy, I'm going to do whatever I can and throw it right back at you and do something good with it. And that is what he has done here. It's absolutely amazing to see. And honestly, I can't help but to think that Jordan Peterson is getting a complete chuckle out of this. So if you want to see Exivus stuff, I will try and link his tweet and his Twitter handle down below in the comments. But also, I gotta say, Jordan Peterson, he has really lived up to it because he has turned around and made a teespring for t-shirts of Hail Hydra, or Hail Lobster in this case, which is absolutely hilarious. He's taken the Hydra symbol, changed it with the lobster, all the proceeds are actually going to charity which is something amazing. And because of that, I think it's worth noting if you guys want to take a look at that. I would love one of these shirts myself. I just, uh, I have more pressing things like bills I've got to pay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. It's been an entertaining couple days watching Jordan Peterson really live up to, the, to this and really make a mockery of Marvel and the way that they're trying to portray him. And then he's lived it. He's like, okay, if you're going to do it, I'm going to make a meme out of it and I'm going to live it and I'm going to go down in history as the guy that didn't sit there and bend over to the Marvel madness that is going on nowadays. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Hey, and also, if you want to support the channel, there is memberships and Patreon down below as well. So do check those out. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>